Okay guys, so uh, like I said, I'm gonna be using the bleach package that came, or my packet that came out of my own splash. Purple Desire kit. Looks like this. I've already previously used some of this because I got my sister's here, so this is like extra. And we had bought our own uh, bleach, yeah, so I didn't get a chance to use the bleach that came here. Or and um, yeah, I'm just gonna mix these in my bowl. And I'm gonna only bleach right now on camera my um, 20 inches. And I'm gonna use, now I'm gonna use that for color. I'm gonna use it on this. I'm gonna do it on this um, surface I have with my trash bag. But anyway, here goes the mix in. The whole um, mixing container. This month's favorite is not going to be a lot of Jennifer Brown here for me. And I'm watching YouTube in the background, so you're gonna hear like random stuff. Nicole Aspect of my life for this month because I've been watching on the website. Also, when you're doing this, one, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Two, please make sure you're wearing clothing that you don't care that you mess up. So I've been watching on the YouTube for the entire month of this month. So before I get into the technical aspect of it, I want to touch on a few things that have been moving in terms of makeup. This is my and with this, you want to mix really well. Um, the consistency of this is slightly runny, but not like super thick. But I'm going to finish the little teeny bit. And this one here is um, coastal scent. So my favorite thing with these eyeshadows is called. So it's going to be kind of runny. Because like I said, I don't plan on. Um, I'm going to bleach all the bundles. I'm going to I'm going to do like a dipped, dyed look. I'll show you in a second what it looks like on the little package over here. Anyway, that's the mixture. It's pretty watery. Some people have their bleach co uh, concoction really thick, and some people like it, like it watery. This is just how it came out based on the package. Um, but yeah. And when you're putting the bleach on the hair, please make sure you wear gloves because it will burn. But um, dip dye. That one right there. Don't look like that. Don't like that. And I will be mixing in this black color, which is this purple right here, in with the um, deep burgundy and burgundy colors that I showed you guys earlier. So. Let's put on the gloves and get to bleach it. Now, they do recommend that if you're not a professional, which I am not, <laughs> to get this done professionally at a salon. Um, I'm a do-it-yourself kind of person, so I've watched numerous videos on YouTube on how to do this, and this is not my first review when it comes to coloring and dyeing and bleaching. So if you aren't comfortable with this, please don't do it by yourself, or if you need more expertise, take it to a salon, or if you want to do it yourself and you just want to learn, just go on YouTube and there's tons of videos on this stuff. So anyway. I'm going to start on the tips, and I'm only going to go to like right where my hand is. Not even going all the way up the bundle. I don't want to bleach the entire bundle. Just the, 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 the tips over here. And usually with bleaching, you want to move kind of fast, but you want to be precise. But moving fast because uh, a lot of the times the bleaching process takes on really quickly. Also, if you don't, if you say you know what color you want, but you don't get a, so you're not going to get a box dye, um, you can 
um, buy, of course, the bleach and everything separate. So, um, just be careful in, you know, the type of developers you get. Of course, the higher the number, the faster it lifts. I'm not really sure what the level of this one is because it came in a box, so, um, and it didn't say on the packaging. So once you get that, you know, the first side, you want to go ahead and turn it over. And then pretty much do the same, the saturate the other side, just to make sure that that bleach gets through and through. I actually forgot a step, and I'm going to have to go get the foil so that I can make sure that I have done this properly. And as I said, you don't have to bleach this hair to get the color you want because it comes in a natural brown most of the time. Um, like natural brown color on here is the very bottom I'll show you guys. So you'll get, you'll still get the color payoff without bleaching. You know, it's just that as you see, the lighter the hair is, the more color treat, color payoff you get. Which is why most people bleach their bundles because they want like pure color. But say you don't want pure color and you just kind of want to just change the color, you don't have to do this bleaching process. But I kind of want most, most of the coloring on my hair to be um, kind of like how my hair is right now. It's like darker roots and then you get your color at the bottom. That's kind of what I'm going for on my bundles. Ah. <laughs> so I'm going to be right back. And because I got to show you what you have to do next, just put this in foil so that it can process, and then I'm going to move on to my other bundles. And um, yeah, we're going to go from there. So I've um, done the bottom, and I brought it up a little bit more just so I have like a gradual instead of like dark and blonde or whatever. So this is pretty much what's going on with it. It is already starting to lift. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to have to take the camera off the stand so you can see. And I'm about to put this in an aluminum foil so it can continue to process. Yeah, I'm also getting some off of my, letting some of the bleach off of my fingers kind of um, go up into the bundle. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that. Some of the, so you can see just kind of how the hair will do with bleaching in general. So I'm kind of trying to saturate as much of it as I mean it's gonna lighten up a little bit more, but not that much. Because um, I didn't concentrate the bleach in those areas. But um you can see it's starting to already turn. So, like I said, this hair is a natural brown, so it's gonna, it should lift to at least like a 27 or something of that nature. And as I said, I'm just right now, I'm taking kind of the residual of the bleach. And as I told y'all, please be careful with this bleach because it will burn you <laughs> if you get it on your skin. So, um, I'm just kind of taking it out. So, it kind of, I might have some streaks at the top, not sure. Um, but yeah, here we go. I know it's a little bit shedding in there, so I probably won't keep this on too much longer. But um, as you see, it's already starting to lighten up in that small amount of time. Get your aluminum foil, and you pretty much, you know, put it in this aluminum foil, and it's going to continue to um, lighten up for me. There's a 20 bun or my 20 inch. And we're gonna just let that continue to process over here. So, um, I'll check on that. And you want to continue to peek in on the hair because it can, it, depending on what you're using, it could like 
works. It could be the color you wanted in like less than five minutes. So just be careful and pay attention so you don't over process the hair because that's something that's harder to come back from with color hair color. Okay. Okay, so I am still bleaching. This is what the hair is looking like. It's lifting really well. I'm actually about to go ahead and wash them out. 